But what we want to do here is figure out probabilities of mothers 15 through 54 and the probabilities. So first off, starting off with 30 through 39, what's the probability of all the births that a woman's between 30 and 39? So first thing you want to do is tally up all the numbers. I already did that already and it ends up being 7,401. So then what happens here for 30 through 39, we take the two numbers here, 1850 and 2824 or 2824 plus 1850 all over 7401 and when you simplify this and reduce it down to a decimal instead of a fraction you'll end up when it rounds to three digits of uh, 0.632 and it's the same thing uh, determine the probability that a woman selected was not so you could add up all the other ones and uh, so and then figure out what that decimal point is. But what's actually probably easier is to just take those, to take uh, the answer from A and just do one minus 0 0.632, and then you'll end up with 0.368. So determine the random, randomly, probably that a randomly selected woman, 15 through 54 is less than 45. So then you take all the numbers except the last one, and actually what might be easier is if you just did one minus 118 over 7,401 because that gives you all the other birth mothers as opposed to 40 through 45 through 54 and you'll end up with a 0.984. Determine the probability of random selected woman uh, randomly selected multiple births for 115 through 54 that's at least 20 years of age. So same thing kind of except it's the other end so it's 20 through 54. And to make it easier on you with arithmetic, you can just do one minus 91 over 7,401. That's how you end up with 0.988 or 98.8%. So anyway, I hope this helped you out. Thanks for watching. You have a great day.